Hey guys, what's up? So, welcome to Layer Liz, if you're new. If you're not, hey, how you doing? Um, lots of updates today. So, yes, predator problem. Caught it on camera. It is a raccoon. Um, very big raccoon. So I went to Family Farm and Home, and I bought a live trap. I am going to take you with me. I just got back. Um, for the night, or from the night, I spent a night at a friend's house, um, just because there is a, definitely a large predator here too, um, and so I repositioned to the camera to see if I can't capture a shot of that animal, particularly. Um, I'm looking at the chickens right now, if you're wondering what I'm looking at. Peace! So there's the cheese. She just refuses to be caught. I'm working on it. I will catch her. <coughs> but she's being a little, little, um, mm, brat, I guess. And then I actually got but some chicks and stuff in this water trough right here. You can see the, yep, the water trough. I know you can see it, but there's some chickies in there. And I cover that to keep any pre the predators because I've lost six chicks already. Which is how I was like, oh, well, I uh, definitely have some sort of predator issue more than I thought. I thought maybe it was just like some chipmunks or squirrels getting into my bag and feed. But no, it's um, definitely something that likes meat also. So we're going to go right now and uh, see if this trap actually caught this raccoon. I put peanut butter on bread and covered it in corn. So, well, my friend Brandon did. It was his suggestion. Let's see what happens. So, I'm going to build a chicken coop so that my chickens can be uh, back here. We'll go back there in just a minute. Oh, it sounds like it's in there. I definitely hear something. All right. And what does it reveal? Yep, it caught something. A very large. Well, I guess it's not that big. It looks like a baby. I hope its mommy isn't here. So, yep. Caught the raccoon. Hi, raccoon. So, are you what's been eating all of my shit? Hmm? Can you see him? I had a feeling he would be in there. Hopefully Shadow don't come messing with him. Well, he has definitely been caught. He does not look happy. Hopefully there's not another one hiding in here somewhere. So, raccoon caught. And now I'm going to get the trail cam and go and see what else is on it. Yeah. So. Off. Uh, go. And I'll be back. Okay, so it just started raining. So I'm inside. Um, checked the... SD card for the trail cam and nothing. So hopefully it's just raccoons trying to get into the chicken coop. I don't know why they would try to be getting into the chicken coop, but um, they are. Can you hear the rain though? See that burn barrel? That's where I am going to be building my outdoor kitchen. Well, I may still go plant these plants, but I probably won't do a video of it. I can always put a sweater on. I'm hoping it will lighten up by the time I get my pallets. I'm getting some more pallets for the chicken coop. 
We're gonna build it nice and sturdy, and then that way I can always put them in there if uh, there's danger of predators. Um, put them in the tractor during the day and put them in the coop at night. Yeah, um, or something. I'll figure it out. But I do still want to do um, like a chicken tractor style where they kind of mow it down where I ask them, want them to. Um, but there's also keeping them safe. And keeping them safe is the priority. So we got to keep them safe and then we can figure out how to work them later. Um, so my friend Brandon um, will be helping me build this chicken coop. Um, we got it about, we got it started yesterday, but we needed a little more wood, and so I am trying to do this without having to go and buy a whole bunch of wood at um, a lumberyard, uh, because wood is expensive, as we all well know. Uh, and so I'm going to use pallets to build this chicken coop, and I'm getting siding from a building that's being torn down nearby. Uh, and then I'm going to side it too, and then that way the pallets have siding and there's no open holes and stuff. It's still going to have plenty of ventilation, uh, but overall it should be fine. Oh. oh, it smells so good. It smells so good out there. And I can hear it. It sounds, can you see it? You can't really see it raining out there. I guess you can kind of see the water, but so I actually been working on my solar panel setup. I brought everything but the panels in here, um, and a friend of mine helped me secure it above my sink in the cabin, and I got my battery and my inverter and stuff in there. I definitely am going to need at least one more battery, if not two or three, bad, if maybe a total of four batteries. Um, I do have a bigger battery hooked up to the camper, uh, but I don't know if that's going to work uh, long term or if that would burn it out. I don't think it's really rated for, uh, I mean, I guess we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna, I might have to try it out because it is a hundred, uh, yeah, a hundred hour, hundred amp hour battery. And then the one I got with the kit was only 35. So, I don't know. The goal is to power the fridge. That's the main goal. With the, if I want to use do anything else in the camper, because um, the big battery that I'm talking about using and switching out is what is hooked up to the front of the camper right now. Um, and it powers the lights and stuff in here, but it doesn't power the outlets. So, uh, if I need to charge stuff, I can charge stuff just via USB with the solar panels, uh, with the little charge controller that it came with as two USB ports. So I have lots of charging options there. So that cuts a lot of that in half, whereas like, unless I need to charge my laptop, um, I have to use a plug a wall plug. Um, but the main goal is to get the refrigerator to a point where it can stay on the majority, uh, I can keep it on all the time, you know, and then that way I'll have refrigeration because I really like milk with cookies and I really like milk with my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I really dig peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I don't care. I know they're, they're good. I don't give a fuck. I like strawberry jelly. So, doing that, um, I guess I can, so right here is where I have set the, um, inverter and battery. I guess I can turn the light on. And, so here's the inverter, here's the battery. Yeah, 35 amp hours. The other one's 101 amp hours, but it's it's like twice the size of that one. Um, and it may work. I could maybe use this one for just the lights. So right now, the, this light right now is being powered by the generator because I have the generator on because I'm charging my laptop. Um, but so I have 
This is the charge controller, which I've yet to decide exactly where I want to put it. That's why I haven't got it hung up yet. But um, the, I took all my stuff out of here. I had a bunch of stuff in here. I took it all out, and we ran, put a hole. We ran the fridge cord in, right? Ran the fridge cord up through this hole right here and then back and I'm gonna um, secure it against the wall uh, I thought I had some like little hook things but I can't find them now I gotta look for them so and then back up here and so here's the inverter and it plugs the fridge into the inverter and I can also plug other stuff into it as well so but that's not really the goal here um, and then I can charge things like with the USB port on this controller which is powered by this battery right so I just need bigger battery bank bigger battery bank so I think four batteries would be a good start I might go get two more next week man it's sunny. It is not sunny. It's going to be raining for like the next week. It's really coming down out there. Ah, uh, well, I had a lot of outside stuff planned for today. You know, we were not getting rain for quite some time. I guess I'm going to get to really see where the water lies on my property. <laughs> uh, now. Oh. Uh. And I just, I feel like I'm unprepared because I'm not collecting the said, wa said water right now. I don't have a tarp up collecting water at this point. And that sucks. And I'm supposed to be taking a tent down right now. I was going to take that tent down because it's covered in gypsy moss. And then nobody's really using it. And I don't want to risk it getting a hole poked in it or something by something falling on it. So I'm going to take it down. And then I can also use it when I if, um, go and do other things. Unless somebody actually comes up here to and uses it, I think there's no point in it sitting there like that. Um, I have thought about turning it into like a little, because when I go in there and it, after it rains, it's still really dry. So that's a, that's a bonus, right? So, uh, <coughs> working on things, I'm cutting the little trees down, I'm trying to clear some spaces. Uh, I do plan on doing, um, that outdoor kitchen. I need to get some clay. I'm debating on cob or cement. I guess I can mix the two. But until the weather dries up, I'm not going to be able to do anything with any of it because it won't be able to dry properly. So I'll have to wait. But I can at least map it out, draw up some blueprints, figure out exactly how to do it. I got this big 55 gallon drum, metal drum, that I'm going to use. And where I decide to build that, or um, that's where I decided to build the house eventually. So I'm gonna build the rocket stove there, and then I'll build the house around said rocket stove. Um, and then I'll be able to heat my house, my bathroom, or my water, and um, you know, cook, which are all very important things put a lit a roof on it so I can do it even if it's raining and maybe even enclose it just a little bit. Right now I need to go get some shit off of my car. I got some fencing and I found uh or and, I, and some of that um OSB wood or paneling and I think one side's actually treated so that's a bonus. And uh it's refurbished and just saving it from the junk pile. Why not? It looks very healthy. There was a couple of them that had a little spots on the bottom, but other than that, just cut that and use it. So, be doing that, trying to collect as much of that as possible. Today is a rainy day. So that will slow progress. But, alas, I can't have my phone out in the rain like this. Not raining this bad, but I am going to go throw a sweatshirt on and probably find my boots. 
and go get a few things done today. I will show you the garden later.